copy of Windows 10, 64-bit. Ground wire comes to a copper piece. I'm using this to ground myself for electrical safety so I don't static shock any of the components. The new mainboard logic, metallic decal, and over here the driver disc. The RF shield is installed. I'm gonna unlock the RAM slots by... I'm actively grounding myself. These DDR4 RAM modules, two times four each, for a total of 16 gigabyting at 3000 megahertz or three gigahertz speed. Notice that there's a short side and a long side and on the board, there's a short side and a long side. Small amount of thermal paste of some kind on the bottom of the factory OEM heat sink for the CPU. Ninth generation Core i5 9400F. Chip runs at 2.9 gigahertz with a 9 megabyte L3 cache. Here we have the CPU. And I gently place the CPU into its holder. This compound facilitates good thermal transfer between the heat sink and the surface of the CPU unit. Put a nice even coating on here. This motherboard contains an M2 slot here with these standoffs and another one hidden under this bracket. The graphics card will be installed up here, so I have to put the M2 drive down this way. That way it can avoid the heat mess up here. The CPU generates heat, the RAM generates heat, and the graphics card will generate heat in this area. I prefer the incoming airflow goes down uh, in this zone, so I'm going to remove this bracket and take a look. Now with the shield removed, we can see the uh, additional offsets and um, connector for the M2 drive. Asus was kind enough to include the uh, M2 offset uh, screw set in this little standoff post compact M2 SSD running on the PCI with incredible read and write speeds. This is the M2 drive. Uh, we see here the heat sink design. When you install this, you want to put it at about a 30 degree angle and kind of wiggle, wiggle it into those pins there so that like a, a good insertion like that with this standoff post right here where you can put the secure screw. Finger tight, nothing too much, you're not trying to crush it. This screw up here is actually a really hard one because it's in the corner. Last one, all secure. Now the CPU and RAM and mainboard logic are mounted. It's LG Super Multi runs on SATA. After repositioning and aligning the drive, you use a screw on the sides to secure the drive. The screw on each side ensures that the optical drive is stable with the chassis. Installed the other fan here at the front to suck air in through the bottom of the front of the computer this way and blow it back this way to get sucked up and blown out the top um, to create cross-flow ventilation inside the case. This is the power supply for the new computer. Special thanks to my buddy Jason Long for providing it. Absolutely beautiful modular design for less cluttered installation. This thoughtfully designed power supply does not spin its top fan with low to moderate loads. This means it will create silent operation. The thoughtful design of the power supply even includes zip ties for cable organization and some screws for attaching the power supply to the chassis of the computer. Now I've hooked up the power supply's main 24 ATX cable to the mainboard logic and the CPU cable to the other side. The graphics card, a 1660 Ti by MSI. Special thanks to Jason Long for donating. The GTX 1660 Ti. Well, that does it. The machine is alive and Windows is installed. Here we can see that Windows is loaded, but it's not connected to the internet, so the date and time is incorrect. Got the Windows 64-bit version off of this CD-ROM drive here. The USB drive I made was not working. Now I have the professional version, and the automatic ASUS Q installer is installing everything. Wonderful.
The system is close to complete. The Steam is loading and downloading Counter-Strike GO, my favorite game. I have the 419 NVIDIA driver, which sharpened up the image on my screen. You can see the strange lighting on the motherboard inside the computer here. Asus Tough Gear up there. It's tough. I've got a blue fan down here in the corner. It bleeds light through the front. That's where the cold air enters from the ground. Down there on the main board, if we zoom in, we can see the icon. That is the Tough Gear icon. It changes color, indicating the motherboard has power. Coming around the back side here, I noticed a strange glow on the ground. If we look, there's a series of LEDs of great intensity. And the motherboard there, casting out all of that magical light. Look at that disco pattern. Boom, boom, boom. Through the top of the case, we can see the extraction fan and light passing through it. What a sight to be seen. It's my favorite game, Counter-Strike GO. Over 14 years I've played it, on and off in sporadic pulses. This is the latest incarnation on this machine.